हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल के एस एस गुरुकुल टूडे उल डिस्कस द चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास सिक्स बायोलॉजी सॉर्टिंग मेटेरियल्स इन टू ग्रुप्स लेट्स फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्ट्स अराउंड अस इफ वी विल लुक अराउंड वी फाइंड वी आर सराउंडेड बाय ए ग्रेट मेनी वेराइटीज ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स और थिंग्स ऑफ डिफरेंट सेप्स साइज कलर्स consistency and uses many of these objects are essential in our day to day life and help in managing our daily activities for example clothes chair table books toys bed televisions etc different things are made up of one or more materials like plastic wood metal paper glass mud or soil stone rubber etc for example buckets lunch boxes toys water containers pipes and jars etc are made up of plastic chalk is calcium carbonate that is made up of mineral pencil is made up of wood or plastic notebook and matchbox are made up of paper duster is made up of wood or plastic and cotton hammer nail and spoke of a wheel are made up of metal bed is made up of wood glass marbles are made up of glass rubber ball is made up of rubber football is made up of rubber leather and plastic likewise the objects or things made up of leather are shoes belt coat wallets etc the objects or things made up of cotton are clothes bag thread gauze fish nets mosquito nets etc next the topic of discussion is properties of materials based on some characters for example their appearance hardness solubility and transparency materials can have various properties first the appearance by appearance some materials can be lustrous means shiny and some can be non lustrous means not shiny lustrous materials are usually metals examples of lustrous materials are copper iron gold diamond aluminum etc however some metals after being exposed to air and moisture often lose their shine and appear dull they are lustrous only on their freshly cut surface for example iron if we will see a freshly cut surface of iron rod it will look shiny but the external surface is usually lustreless due to rust examples of non lustrous materials are wood paper chalk cotton and plastic second the hardness materials which can be easily compressed or scratched are called soft materials for example cotton sponge rubber etc materials which are difficult to be compressed are called hard materials for example iron steel wood stone etc third the solubility materials those dissolve in water are called water soluble materials those do not dissolve in water or do not disappear in water even after stirring for a long time are called water insoluble examples of solid substances those are soluble in water are 
salt, sugar, baking soda, etc. Examples of liquid substances those are soluble in water are vinegar, lemon juice, milk, alcohol, etc. Example of solid substances those are insoluble in water are sand, chalk powder, sawdust, etc. Example of liquid substances those are insoluble in water are oils, fats, etc. Liquid insoluble materials form a separate layer in water. Some gases also dissolve in water. Example of gases those are insoluble in water are oxygen and carbon dioxide. Dissolved oxygen is essential for plants and animals that live in water. Fourth, the floatability. Insoluble materials may float on surface of water or settle at the bottom. Examples of objects and materials that float in water are dried leaves, paper, wood, plastic chairs, plastic bottles, plastic toys, flowers, ice, balloon, clothes, sewage, etc. Vegetables like pumpkin, capsicum and zucchinis. Fruits like apples, bananas, lemons, oranges and watermelons. Examples of objects and materials that sink in water are vegetables like carrot, potato and tomato etc. Fruits like mango and avocados. Stone, iron, marbles, sand, coin and key etc. Fifth, the transparency. On the basis of transparency, that is light transmission through them, materials can be grouped as transparent, opaque and translucent. Then what is transparent? Transparent materials are those through which things can be clearly seen. Examples are clear glass, clear water, air, some plastics, swimming goggles, etc. Now, what is opaque? Materials through which nothing can be seen are called opaque materials. Examples, wood, stone, roof, cardboard piece, book, metal, cemented wall, some plastics, etc. And the translucent means the materials through which things can be seen but not clearly. Examples, sunglasses, frosted glass, wax paper, butter paper, smoke, vegetable oil, etc. Palm of our hand is translucent because torch light passes through it but not clearly. Now, what is the need or why do we need to group materials? Firstly, it is convenient for us and helps us to locate them easily. And secondly, grouping of materials makes it convenient to study their properties and also observe any patterns in these properties. Now, let's discuss the summary of this topic. Objects surrounding us are made up of a great many varieties of materials. A specific material can be used to make varieties of objects. An object can be made up of a single material or varieties of materials. Properties of one material differ from that of another. Some of the properties of materials are shiny, rough, smooth, hard, soft, opaque, soluble, insoluble, etc. 
the basis of grouping of materials is the similarities and dissimilarities between their properties. The aim of grouping of materials is for convenience and to study their properties. This was all about this chapter. Feel free to subscribe, like, share and comment your valuable views. Thank you for watching.